Okay, here I've uh, sourced some heat sink material. Um, it's aluminium. Um, essentially, I'm just going to mark on here. Well, I've just made a little one. Um, just made a little template. So I'm just going to mark on here like that, and uh, and do sort of seven of them along here. Okay. So you can see, I've marked seven, seven of them off here, and we'll come back when I've drilled them. So now I've got the holes drilled. The seven for the seven transistors. So um, yeah, they'll fit. They fit quite nicely. Quite fits quite nicely in there. So that's the. Um, that's the heat sink for the transistors. Um, so this is a bit of a jump from the last um, last thing I recorded, where I was drilling the heat sink. Well, I've made a case. Um, I've actually completed. Uh, you'll be able to see in here. It's a bit of a bird's nest in here, but um, what happened was I had to uh, try and get something up and running for. Um, an energy cafe event and I wanted to show this uh, up and running so what you can see here is um, literally four of the circuits you can see four of the transistors um, hooked up and uh, under here you can see that there's four circuits working um, which means uh, uh, there's three coils in here um, there's uh, also three windings on this coil and um, and all three of them go to these three and the other power winding on this coil um, goes to the last one there um, so I do have I do have another coil to go in and obviously that uh, corresponds to these three transistors here um, yeah as I said I had to get this ready for um, uh, an en energy cafe event uh, which it was very successful actually and uh, I'll, I'll actually show you right now the thing working um, so, um, what we're doing is, um, I'm going to power or, or charge up this battery, um, which is um, a, an 85 amp hour battery there, um, using this um, 5 amp hour battery. Um, so, right now we can see the voltage on this uh, battery was pretty damn dead, it's uh, about 7 volts. Um, using the 25 scale so that's about 7 volts there um, so and I'm going to show if I can get this camera to show it that's probably it um, so I have a little probe here we can see that there's no power in here whatsoever the light doesn't go on okay um, so what I'm going to do is hook up this little battery to the import of, uh, of my motionless Bedini. Okay, <clears throat> now uh, let's just adjust the frequency a bit there. So this has a starter, which is a, uh, a neodymium magnet, and I just slap it on there, and off it goes so oh that's odd look immediately we jump up to around about what 14 14 volts obviously it's not got 14 volts in it straight away but it's um um it's it's charging up almost instantly and you can hear the frequency let me look, move the way yeah the only reason you're hearing it is because uh the the magnet here is being sort of attracted and repelled you can hear it now and uh, I can actually turn up the frequency Ooh, it's gone a bit sort of a bit funny but uh, yeah you can see I can turn up the frequency now I don't know um, ah actually I can see as I turn the frequency up the voltage drops there but I do know that uh, 
as the frequency goes up um, the draw the current draw on this battery goes way down so I think it's just a, a matter of um, of balancing the current draw with the charging voltage um, but um, as soon as I get an oscilloscope I'll be able to uh, figure out exactly what's going on um, so I'm, a, I'm operating on a bit of a shoestring budget at the moment so um, an oscilloscope m might take a bit of time to uh, to come along well that's odd I'm, I'm hearing um, differences in a in a tone um, corresponding to uh, the voltage going up and down uh, perhaps it only happened once or twice oh. um, so I'm going to open this up again hold on a second uh, those of you who saw the last video might have noticed that um, the circuit board uh, is slightly different this was this was the original circuit board I've uh, started to cannibalize it for the bits but um, uh, back in 1977 my electronics teacher told me or in, in my school report um, David's uh, enthusiasm for the subject uh, means that he, he adopts a slapdash, uh, slapdash approach which um, and and because of this his the quality of his constructional um, projects uh, suffers so um, he, he gave me a B as I remember but um, turns out he was right you know my slapdash approach to my soldering means that mean, meant that this board was uh, well basically crap I, I basically um, didn't didn't wire it too well and uh, it didn't work so uh, mr. miss Taylor wherever you are you were right um, you're not a dickhead and um, I deserve the B so what I ended up doing was uh, rebuilding the uh, the circuit board uh, as I see I've only done four of the circuits so far um, but you know four is better than one and um, right now it's working on the four uh, the four circuits um, the light here at the front is literally just uh, being an LED being powered by by this coil um, and if I if I place the coil next to next to this one you can see the light coming on see um, it just means that it's just showing that there's activity going on in that coil and um, I'm able to generate enough to power an LED so I can see what's um, see what's the, the things actually running. So um, as I said, I've got um, uh, I've got to actually tidy up in here. But uh, yeah, I was rushing to get the, the thing finished for the conference. Um, uh, I've also got to hook up these, this uh, this resistor um, and uh, and put the, the the final coil in there as well. Um, so hopefully next next video you'll be able to see that. Um, but um, as, as you can see, it's it's running very nicely already. Um, I said around about this frequency, the current draw on this battery is around about 50 milliamps. Um, and uh, and as we've seen before in the previous videos, that um, I could actually have a bank of five or ten batteries here, and uh, it, they would all charge up. Um, because this radiant energy uh, doesn't care how many batteries you've got on the end. Um, ah, yeah, can you, you can see how the um, the tone's changing. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's uh, must be something to do with the battery. Um, yeah, it's very odd. You can see the the voltage going up and down as the tone changes. So it must be something to do with the battery in the way it's. Uh, charging up I don't know we'll see um, yeah so um, hopefully I'll get this running on uh, all seven circuits and uh, then start some some proper testing um, I think my next video will be talking about uh, how and why this works um, I've started to get a bit more of a, a solid understanding of um, radiant energy and uh, how the Bedini actually um, utilizes it so uh, till next time um, I'll catch you later